and I will see you guys in the premiere Sabbath uh, thing. So, yep, just random it out. So hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of our tutorial. In the first part I've showed you how to create the animation in Cinema 4D and in this part 2 I'm going to explain how to export your file to After Effects and I'm always, always, I mean I'm also going to explain you how to export Cinema 4D to a file with some alpha channels so you've got a transparency background on it. So, well, let's get right into it. I'm not talking too much right now, or, I mean, I'm not going to talk too much. So, um, all right, let's go. I've got 300 frames, as you can see, my animation is 300 frames long, so we have to make sure we are going to render 300 frames as well. So I'm going to my render settings first, I make sure I've got full HD with my width and the height, it's correct. Um, I'm going to take a look at my options, Make sure these settings are okay, but most of the time it's just standard settings, so basically it's always um, alright, but sometimes your rate depth is maybe to a very low value, make sure it's around 15. Um, I don't know if I already have explained you what these settings are do doing, but well, that, that will come in the future. So alright, um, let's get to our save setting and let's go to change it to PNG, yep, I'm saying PNG. PNG is just a one file, but we are going to render 300 frames so you will get 300 files. And that are a, these are a lot of files, but I will explain later why. I think I've already explained in part 1, I said you don't have to render as an RV, just render PNG and just get a location, I'm going to save it at my background, I'm going to create a new map, a folder, excuse me, I'm going to call this one an animation, get right into that, I'm going to call this one pixel animation, right, um, yep, it's PNG, Make sure you've got the alpha channel checked, so you will have a transparency background. And go to your output, and these settings are all good, uh, and you have to make sure you've got the from um, 1, so it's going to render from frame 1 to 300, I'm going to make sure it's from 0, so it, will work. it also get that very first frame, so it's not skipping one frame. So it goes from 0 to 300 with frame step 1, so it goes 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, till it gets 300. And, well I guess that's basically it. So we can just render this out. And I will see you guys in the premiere Sabbath thing. So yeah, just render it out. Just clicking on this button. How it's called? It's called the Render to Picture Viewer. And as you can see, it's already it's already rendering, so it will take I don't know how long, in just a few seconds for one frame, and I have to get 300 renders. So I will skip this part for you guys and see you at the Premiere setup. All right, so now I've just started my Premiere, Adobe Premiere, and we're going to import our PNG files to make it a PNG sequence, so we can render it out as a video. Um, as you can see, I've got all those 300 frames, so it's just 300 PNG files, and we're going to drag them into our Premiere so we can export it to a video. So, first thing I'm going to do is go click right click, import, I'm going to import, I'm going to make sure I'm on my desktop. Um, I'm going to click the very first frame and then make sure the image sequence is checked. So. Most of the time it's not checked, so make sure it got, well that box is checked, so make sure to click on the first frame, and box is checked, and then open. So it's now making a folder with all these PNG files within your folder, and just drag your PNG sequence to the timeline, and now it's creating that video. So as you can see, it's got a cool video with a black background, that's the transparency background. And now we can render it out as a PNG, or no, not as a PNG. We can render it out as a quick time video with a transparency background so we can edit it in After Effects. So how to do that part is very simple, just click on File, 
export media. So now it's just important to look at the settings because most of the time it's just messing around with it. So as you can see, the default settings is messing my project a little bit. So as you can see, my width is now 7020 by 576. So that's not the widescreen resolution HD that I wanted. So I'm going to click on the format. QuickTime is okay, so make sure it's still QuickTime. I'm going to click on my preset. I will make it custom preset, but first of all, I'm going to click on. I don't know if it's working right now. Click on white screen, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to change the video codec. Click on the video codec and make sure it's got a non-compression on it, so we can change the width and the height. So we're going to change it back to full HD, 90, 20 by 1080, and we are going to. Make sure the frame rate is exactly the same as your cinema project. You can see your frame rate right in your cinema project with the FPS is saying 30 and you can see your project settings by going to edit project settings and go to project settings and you can see your frames per second. So go back right into Premiere and make sure that frame rate is exactly the same so it's not skipping any frames at all. So I think most of the things are set up right. Make sure you've got your render at maximum depth. So make sure that's checked. 32 bits. And I think that's all we have to click on right now. I don't have any audio so I can uncheck it but I'll leave it checked. So yeah I think this is it. I can now render this part as a... Well it's now rendering as a mob file but it got an alpha channel on it so let's click on oh, oops I'm going to have it give it a location I'll call it alpha pixel and just export and we have to wait but you guys don't have to wait I will skip it and see you in After Effects so hello we are now right into After Effects and yep I've just rendered my project as a mob file with an alpha channel and now I'm going to well edit it a little bit in After Effects I'm going to do some color corrections and just a, a few small optical flares to give it a little bit of a cool touch on it. Um, first thing I'm going to do is create a composition by going to composition and new composition and I'll call this one main I always call my first composition main comps. Um, full HD as well. White screen can be square pixels. You just put it on square pixels. Always the best choice. Make sure the frame rate is exactly the same as well as Cinema and Premiere. So in this case, it's 30. Duration. I don't know how long my animation is. I guess it was like 30, 12, 12, 30. I will make it 50 seconds. Background color doesn't really matter, we're going to change it later and press OK and then we're going to import our alpha file. So let's import our animation. I've called it alpha pixel. And we are going to create a new solid. Right click new solid and we'll call this one background. And first I'm going to change the background. So I'll give it a gradient. Gray, white, green, no, gray, ramp, and I will give it a cool, a little bit of a blue, gray, dark color, and I will add some optical flares to it as well, but I will do it a little bit later. Right now, I'm going to right click new solid, color doesn't matter, but I will call it optical. Optical. I've used some, I'm using optical flares from Video Copilot, but you can always use the flares that are within After Effects, or you can maybe just search on Google for, for some cool flares, because we are not animating the flares, we are just using that cool color presets they've got in inside optical flares. When you're clicking on options, I will show you guys what I mean. I always go to the preset and Motion graphics sometimes have some very cool color, like the green spotlight, I really love that one. And I will go uncheck that very beamy light source things, just hide all that part. I just only want that green background color, something like this. 
and hit OK and I'm going to change the direction of my flare a little bit to maybe something like this, the brightness can be a little bit higher so that's cool and I'm going to make sure the mode is set to add or screen just what looks better maybe color dodge maybe set the opacity a little bit lower and I'm going to duplicate my optical flare and I'm going to create another one at the other direction and I'm going to get inside my presets again and just search for one that's looking great maybe a little bit more blue and I will hide those parts again I don't need them at all so hide them and I'll press OK again and as you can see I've got it a little bit of a cool color, it's a little bit maybe too blue so I'm going to give it a little bit more to the black something like this Maybe it's a little bit wet looking, but maybe increase the opacity from some opticals. Or you can use a four color gradient, but I will say with a gradient red. So this is a background, and now we can just add our alpha pixel within our comp. So just drag it into our main comp, and as you can see, it's already right inside of a composition and well the resolution is now bad because I'm my preview is at I don't know yep at a quarter so that's why it's looking a little bit blurry at all um, but as you can see the animation is looking great now you can see that light from cinema 4d as well and that fullometric light cone going on and the last thing I've added in my video animation was a um, optical flare moving above the title. What I basically did was duplicate my layer and make sure the last frame is frozen. So right click, time, freeze frame and just drag it to the end of the composition and now cut it so you can see it's frozen at the last position. And the, basically what I did was very simple. Create a new solid and I will call this one optical animation I will just drag my optical flare on it and make sure I'm going to select a very small optical uh, maybe something like this that's basically what I want I want that horizontal flare and a blue one so maybe I have to look inside motion graphic something like this is maybe cool but I think the first choice is the best. I saw this one. And I'm going to hide those spots. I don't want all of them. That one. So I think something like this. Maybe those five dots on the right. I'm also going to hide. So let's search where they are. I'm always hiding some to see where they are, so there they are. So yeah, that's basically the flare I was looking for, and hit OK. And make sure it's set to screen or add, to add. The brightness is very sharp right now, so make sure it's just a little bit lower, so it's not too bright. Maybe the scale is a little bit too large, so set it very small and now we can well I'm only animating the X, X position so I'm going to I, where I want it to start I want it to start on the left side of my X and well it's very simple just click on a position watch move your time indicator to I don't know one second I don't know how long and it goes to the end of A of E, excuse me. So now I've got my very simple uh, flare animation and I have to make sure it's also fading out so I'm going to uh, the middle of the keyframes and I'm going to 
give it a transparency or not not transparency opacity excuse me um i have to press u to see all my keyframes in the middle i'm going to fade it out so i'm going to my last keyframe and there is my flare is gone so i'll give it a zero opacity and now you can see it got a flare that's fading out as well so yeah that's basically how I made that pixel animation. So as you can see, it's a very easy animation. It's not hard to do. Just some few tricks you have to understand. And I'm going to give it a null object to... Where is my... Oh, oops. Oh, and the last thing you can add is a scaling, so it's not just... Um, not just, uh, I don't know how to call it. <coughs> well, right now you can see it got an animation and boom, it stops. Nothing happened. So, most of the time you just have to give it a little bit of a scaling so there is still something going on. So, it, that makes it look a little bit better. Very easy to do it. Just select all your layers, go to pre compose and I don't know, called scale, doesn't really matter. And just create a null object and give it a scaling from 100% to, I don't know, 105. Just very small, go to the first keyframe and just parent them to the null object. Parent your main comp, or in this case, scale comp to the null object. So now you can see it's scaling and that's always looking better. I see my optical flares gun. Yes. Where are you? Oh, that's why. So yeah, there it goes. That's basically my animation. Um, if you guys got any questions about it, just leave it in the comments. And in the future, I'm going to post some new tutorials as well, as always. I'm going to post a little bit more videos about uh, 3D, so about cinema or Maya or well, whatever you wanted to learn about it. Um, I was going to give you some tips and feedback. If you want any feedback on some videos you have created, just leave me a message and I will take a look at it. Maybe you can, uh, I can help you guys and you can learn from it. Um, well, yeah. See you guys later in the next video and make sure to hit the like button if you like this video or hit the dislike button if you don't like it but tell me why. Um, yeah, see you in the next video. And...